All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate templates, how to add really nice templates to your site so you don't have to be a uh, design genius to create stuff like this. And all you have to do is change the colors and change out the pictures and so on and so forth. So uh, we created full blown sites for you. Um, and this is uh, from Elementor, actually, they created, but we created the whole site. So you could download this complete site right here, meaning home, about us, services, um, uh, shop page, blog, all that stuff. And you could integrate it and put it right into your site as if you had a full site and then just remove the content. Now, if you don't want all those pages, if you don't want to download that, uh, you could go to this other Thing that I'm going to explain. Tyler made this, tyler.com forward slash templates. And he created content blocks, which I really love because if you don't want like the full page, let's say you don't want everything, you don't want all these pages, you don't want to download this full page right here, you just want this area or this area. This is really cool because you could just get these areas and he categorized these areas into call to action, content, um, and so on and so forth. So if you just want this area or this area or uh, the entire page, as he added some entire pages, you could go there or you could go to this other area, which is uh, tesseract.com forward slash layouts. You could choose the layout that you want. You could view it first, choose the layout you want, and it will come with all the pages within that layout. Press next, and then you could download this and install it on your WordPress, and all the pages will come up there. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. And I'm also going to show you how, if you want to use Tyler's one, uh, how to import all these templates in this. Now, uh, for this to be possible, we are going to be using Elementor. For some reason, Beaver Builder, this is Beaver Builder's one, uh, you have to now buy the templates uh, from them. So if you want the their templates and stuff, for whatever reason, you're going to have to buy their stuff. Elementor gives us all these free templates. What we did is we just made it easy for you to... Um, to use just like content blocks or if you wanted a full-on website we made it easy to create a full-on website so let's uh, go to Elementor if you have Elementor uh, great if you don't I recommend getting it it's a page builder you're gonna need this page builder to uh, download these templates so just like Beaver Builder uh, this is a page builder Elementor is a page builder as well Elementor uh, gives you all these free templates. We just made it easy, Tyler did, and uh, and Tesseract team made it really easy to either have a full-on site or have content blocks, and you could do both uh, for your site. So let, let's get started. Let me show you how to uh, get Elementor into your site so you can start building uh, these templates. And you could use them uh, both. So you could have Elementor and Beaver Builder run simultaneously. So some for this page, like, but for each page, you either have to choose Elementor or Beaver Builder. For example, if I uh, created this site in Elementor and I tried to edit it with Beaver Builder, I could not and vice versa, if that makes sense. So notice I'm trying to edit here. I can't do it with Beaver Builder. And if... I click Elementor, then the code will come up easier to edit. It will make it so we could edit. Let me show you. Let's get this to load. Oh, there you go. And then if you just click on these little areas, you could uh, edit the thumbnails and edit the, the text and so on. So let's first install Elementor on within the plugins. So go ahead and go into your WordPress area and click on the plugins area click new and let's install elementor i already have it installed but i'm going to show you just elementor there you go so let's install this uh i already have it installed but i'm going to click update now you want to always update if you see an update click that update button and instead it's going to say install and then activate you want to activate that plugin so make sure 
Elementor Page Builder, this one is installed on your site first. So that's the first thing you want to do. Then you want to go over to your the layouts of of what I just showed you here. So let's go back. You could either download all these layouts and have a full page going on for yourself, which I'll show you, or you could get some content blocks from Tyler here uh, by going here. So actually, let's just do his content blocks first. So if you go to tyler.com forward slash templates, you could download all these templates. You just click on this download and it will go and it will create this folder right here. I created now two folders, so that's why it has a one on it. But it's going to have, it's going to create a folder for you. And now I could uh, see all these templates. All these are in what's called a JSON file. And I'm going to show you how to load up all these templates into Elementor's page builder. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So in your dashboard of your WordPress, go to Elementor right here and go to my library. Click on that right there. Then what you want to do is you want to click on import templates right up here. All right. It's going to ask you to install your JSON files. OK, so we could do this right now. And I'm going to click that zip file so I could get all the zip files. Okay, so to import the templates, once you download it, uh, go to Elementor and click Import Templates. You could choose a JSON file or zip. I just tried with a zip and it didn't work. So I'm going to talk to Elementor and see if they could fix this issue. Hopefully by the time you're watching this, it will be fixed. Um, so here's the the one typically you would just click on this that you download all templates right there i even tried to rename it to see if that worked but for some reason it didn't work typically before it worked uh, i think there's just a bug that needs to get fixed um, and all the templates would show up here uh, either way now you could do this one by one by adding it by just clicking add and then you could click oh i'm sorry import Let's go back. Sorry, sorry. Go to import template again and then choose a file and then go into that uh, zip file and then you could choose the ones that you want. You could uh, just click on that, import it, and it will get imported into the Elementor template. So that's how you load it up. So bear with me here. So let's go into your pages and we'll create a new page. So let's just create a test page right now. So test page. And I'm going to set this as full width. And I'm going to press save so we don't get that sidebar. And I'm going to edit with Elementor. And you'll see that this loaded up. Uh, again, hopefully the whole zip will load up once we're done. When, if you want to add a template, you could just click Add Template. Um, so Elementor has these free ones right here, uh, which we added to our layouts right here. But in our layouts, we're just giving you all the pages. Um, so it, it collectively gives you all these pages and stuff. So if you want, you could use that one as well. Um, but I'm going to just do the content block that I uh, imported. That's just one out of many. And again, you could go to Tyler's uh, themes and you could see which one's which. So for example, Z4 is this one right here and so on. So this is A3 and you could preview this and see what that would look like before importing it. So that's what that would look like. And I'm going to insert it now into the site. So there you go. That's the content block that you added right there. And again, uh, you should be able to add it in bulk. Maybe it's my browser or maybe it's a fix. I'm going to ask uh, Elementor to see, but you should be able to add all of those within Elementor. So for example, if I go to add template down here, if you want to add another block or something, you could add another one of theirs, which is a full page. So instead of adding, let's say, for example, this full page, let me insert it. And then 
deleting the stuff that you don't want. So this is the full page. So the, you would get this block, this block, this block, and whatever. Instead of saying, okay, I just want this block, that's why Tatar did what he did. And um, so you don't have to go through and start deleting all that stuff. So if you just wanted this block alone. So that allows you to just get whatever block you want, like this block right here would be that block. And it makes it real easy to have all these really, um, really nice blocks. Also, Elementor does a lot more um, right now. They're doing a lot of development to make animations for this. Uh, you could do so much with this if you go to Styles and they have all these video tutorials to teach you. Um, and again, this is not going to mess up your site. You could have some of your pages on Beaver Builder and some of them on Elementor and you could get the best of both worlds if you wanted to. Um, but I, in my opinion, uh, Elementor is really uh, doing a fascinating job. They have a lot of people working on their stuff, testing it. They're constantly doing updates and stuff like that. Um, so I'm, I'm really loving it. So check out this, Tatters Blocks. Uh, import it in there. If you want, you could also go and import a full site by clicking the demo, clicking next, uh, downloading this and then just reading, uh, going through the directions here. It's really simple. All you have to do is just, I'll, and in fact, let's just do this right now. So let's download this right here if you want a full site. And it's 10 right there. Uh, that This is the data that we're going to be in, importing. So I just downloaded this 10 right there. And that's the demo I wanted. And I'm going to go through these directions with you. Uh, and right now. So let's go back in the uh, WordPress area. And the first thing we want to do, if you want to import all this uh, page stuff so you can have a full site, is go into uh, your the first thing you want to do is go into uh, the tools and then press import right there. And I think that's what I'm going to tell you to do. Okay. Yep. And then scroll down. So tools, import, and then WordPress, and install now right here. So tools, import, WordPress, install now. This allows you to import XML page data into WordPress, which is really cool. So WordPress has this little feature. You just have to install this feature to in import this page data. So I went ahead and did that. Now if I go into import, it's going to take me here. So if I t click import again and I click run importer, it's going to take me here. All right. So now I could choose a file. So let's do that. Uh, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go to the one that I just downloaded. If you're like me, you probably have a lot of stuff on your <laughs> downloads right now. I need to clear, clear that out um, and then click on XML. This is the site settings data. If you want to change your settings to uh, meaning the header and footer, if you want those colors, the same stuff. Uh, for now, I'm just going to import the XML. This is all the page data. So where you see XML, that's what you want to import into here. That's all the page data. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to upload and import this right here and it's going to ask you what admin do you want to use for this i'm going to click that make sure to click on download and import file attachments and click submit all right so now it's going to import all that data you can see it spinning right here and it's going to import all those pages into your page areas right here um, and if you have WooCommerce, it's going to import products into your WooCommerce as well. So if you actually look at, let's go back to the layouts here. Let's go to the layouts. And let's say you chose this one right here. It's going to import all these pages and it's going to import like these shop pages as well for you. So if you want demo pages right here. And if you want the settings, the settings is like this, the colors and these colors and stuff. So if you want to import just uh, the pages, that's fine. If you want to import the colors and all this other stuff, 
I'm going to also show you how to do that as well. But for now, I'm just importing this. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time to import. So I'm going to wait for that, pause the video, and I'm going to come back to that when it imported. Okay, so it looked like it imported and it's going to say all done, have fun. Um, remember to, you know, update passwords over, over roles if you need to. But that's it. If you see any other things here like, oh, we you know, it's not going to import these pages because you already have that page name, then that's fine. Um, let's go to pages here. And you're going to see now all these pages, you're going to see contact two, contact three, and you could just manual delete the ones that you don't want or are not going to use. So this created all those pages for you. So for an example, uh, let's go to uh, edit with Elementor on this contact four page. And I'm going to have this show up here. And, and by the way, it added some other stuff. So I have to go back to my menu and edit that. But that's relatively easy. So it just added this right here. And that's basically all the pages. So if I want to go back to my menu and edit my menu now, I can. Or I could uh, import the settings and stuff. And that's, uh, and that's in theme settings. And I could import that right now. So let's just do that. So importing the settings is like the color of the header and the colors throughout and, and stuff like that. Uh, so go to theme settings and you're going to see that other file that we get. We imported this one. Now we're going to import the CSV. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to press import. There you go. And I'm going to go back and let's see what it did, if it did anything. There you go. Now it has like that darker setting that you wanted, you know, and maybe a lighter down there. And you could still go in to customize and change this menu. I think it added some other menu stuff to it because I already had a menu. So it added a menu on top of the menu. So that, but that's okay. You could go to your customize like I just did right now and go to menus. And in the top uh, menu, which is here, you could just start deleting the stuff that you don't want that are just extra stuff. So I'm going to remove that one. I'm going to just go to the shop. I have probably one shop or two services. So let's get rid of the services here and so on. So anyways, that is pretty self-explanatory. What you need to do here is just start, you know, cleaning up your menu after you import all this stuff. But what it does is it makes it easy for you to now have all these pages. So let me go back um, and let's go to service two and you could see all your pages come up just like that. And this is an instant page. So if you don't want all this data, then you don't have to go through this process. You could just download whatever content blocks you want and use those content blocks at your discretion. All right, let me know if you have any questions. I kind of went through it a little quickly, but um, I didn't want to make this video too long. Um, and uh, I hope this helps get all the really cool content blocks in here with Elementor. And Elementor is really, really great. It is. And it gives you animations. It gives you great slides. It gives you a lot of options. Play with it a while. Put it on a new page. And um, don't miss, mix, miss and match the pages. You if If this page... Uh, you made in Beaver Builder, then use only that. If this page you use for Elementor, only use Elementor for that page. Um, that's the only caveat, but you could use both of them. Notice I have both. Sometimes maybe you already had some pages that you don't want to redo and you did it with uh, Beaver Builder. Great. And then you want to add some new pages. You could do that with Elementor. All right. Hope this video helps and uh, I look forward to seeing some really cool sites out of you guys. Thanks a lot.